Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight? Fine. I'm fine, thank you. I'm happy you are fine. How was your day? How was your day today? Let's see. Wednesday. It is, uh, today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. How was your Wednesday? How was your miércoles? It was great. It was busy. Very busy. You had a very busy day. Jaime too had a very busy day. Yeah, it's a, it's a very busy. Good evening. It's, it's very busy. hard. It's a hard day. Too much work. Hard. Demasiado trabajo. Okay, but don't worry, you are at home now. You can relax just a little bit. Yes, solo tiene que aguantar una hora más, right? One hour more, and you are going to go to sleep. Y después nos vamos a dormir, right? You are going to rest a lot. And tomorrow is Thursday. Mañana ya es jueves, right? So don't worry. Ok, eh, let's see, uh, ¿cómo vamos en la plataforma? ¿En qué sección van, van ya? ¿En qué sección estamos trabajando? Sección 3. Sección 3, ok, thank you Mario, sección 3. Sección 4, ¿quién ya va en la sección número 4? Sección 4, sección 4. Ahí empezarla. Sección exercise. In the second exercise. Okay, excellent. Please don't forget that this at the end of this week, you had to complete section one, section two, section three, and, ox, and also the midterm exam. Y también el examen del medio curso. Don't forget that, please. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, this yes. word uh, also... We can use only también and when we say to uh, also, also and to eh, generalmente to lo usamos al final de una oración ¿verdad? So, por ejemplo uh -huh. John, Jonathan dice I am sleepy tengo sueño entonces Silvia dice I am sleepy too Tengo sueño también. And also, puede ir en medio de uh, las oraciones. Por ejemplo, work on the exercise and also in the midterm. Trabaje en los ejercicios y también. Uh, and that's the difference okay. between also and to. Thank I'm sorry if I didn't participate in the class, but I'm still sick. Okay, I understand, René. Thank you. Thank you for being here with us tonight. Thanks a lot. So, no question about the platform exercises. No hay ninguna pregunta. If you don't have any question, no, then... Um, yes? Who has a question? Nobody has a question? Then tell me, what do you remember no, of the last class? No, Hello, good evening. Okay, no question. If you don't have any question, let's no. start with tonight class. No. What was yesterday topic? Do you remember yesterday topic? ¿Cuál era el tema de ayer? The what do you do? Wow. An adjective. Adjective, objective, placement. Oh. oh, we learned about some adjectives. Do you remember those adjectives?
Okay, so we are going to have a review. Don't worry about that. So let's go with this. I'm going to share my screen with you. Let me know, please, if you can see it. Can you see my screen? Let me know, please. Yes. 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 Give me a second, please. Okay, here we go. Job profiles. This is the topic for today. Job profiles. Perfiles, verdad, de los trabajos. Job profiles. So let's remember some objective. Recordemos algunos objetivos de los que vimos ayer. So let's see the first one. Aburrido. How do you say this in English? Can you tell me? Boring. 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 Okay. Let's see the next. Boring. Facil. How do you say facile in English? Easy. 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 Peligroso in English? Dangerous. Dangerous. Emocionante. Exciting. Exciting. Difícil. Difícil. Hard. Hard. Difficult. 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 Or a hard. Difficult. Difficult. What about this one? Difficult. Stressful. 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 Okay, here we have the uh, here we have the adjective boring, easy. Dangerous, exciting, difficult, and also stressful. Let's see the next one. How do you say seguro in English? Safety. Safety. Relax. 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 The next one. Glamorous. 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 Challenging. 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 Reward. Reward. Oh. Reward. Rewarding. 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 Sorry. What is the next one? The next one is. Stimulante. How do you say this adjective in English? Then you remember we're going to say in a minute then repetitive. Stimulating. Repetitivo is. Repetitive. Repetitive. Muy bien. Y admirable. <laughs> admirable, admirable. So we have here this adjective, safe, relaxing, glamorous, monotonous, challenging, rewarding, stimulating, repetitive, and admirable. admirable. So we also studied this part. Yesterday we studied these two ways to use adjective, verb plus an adjective, and adjective plus noun. So in this one, we use this structure, article, a o an, profession, apostrophe, and s, verb b, plus adjective. And we say, for example, a lawyer job is stressful. El trabajo de un abogado es estresante. A mechanic job is difficult. El trabajo de un mecánico es difícil. A farmer job is hard. El trabajo de un granjero es duro, ¿verdad? difícil. Duro. 
Um, then we can use this other structure. Tenemos esta segunda opción para de decir, ¿verdad? Características de, los, de las diferentes profesiones o de los diferentes trabajos que desempeñamos. Then in this structure, we are going to need an article uh, or an profession has article uh, or an, again, adjective and noun. A dancer has an interesting job. A truck driver has a dangerous job. A factory worker has a stressful job. So let's see, a dancer has an interesting job. Un bailarín tiene un trabajo interesante. Un conductor de camiones tiene un trabajo peligroso. peligroso. El trabajador de una fábrica, a factory worker, has a stressful job. Tiene un trabajo estresante. So sí. we, can, we can use both. <laughs> then the sentence is true. La oración es verdad, then. Y let's see then, we can use both. We can use verb be plus an adjective or adjective plus a noun. Here are the adjective and the noun. Interesting is the adjective and the noun is job. Podemos utilizar ambas estructuras para describir los diferentes empleos, the different jobs. So I'm going to scramble the following sentence. What is the correct sentence? I had the word job, dentist, article A, the bear has the adjective rewarding. A dentist, job, has rewarding. A dentist has job, a job rewarding. Good try, but that is not the correct answer yet. Excelente intento. Okay. It's almost perfect. So let's come back. A dentist has rewarding uh, job. Oh, okay, casi, casi, almost perfect. A dentist. Has uh, a rewarding, rewarding job. Excellent. That is the correct Yo. answer. We are going to start with this. A medical, a profession, a dentist. There has, a dentist has, then another article, a rewarding job. A dentist has a rewarding job. Excellent. Let's see the next one. A nurse. No job is acne. A nurse job is a nurse. Okay. Thank you. A nurse. A nurse's job is admirable. Admirable job. Now let's let's see. Listen, a nurse's job is admirable. That is the correct answer. A nurse's job is admirable. Let's see the third one. I have the word fascinating. The article and the verb has article a and an actor has a fascinating job. Thank you. An actor has a fascinating job. That is the correct answer. Thanks a lot. An actor has a fascinating job. Tiene un trabajo emocionante, fascinante. Let's see the next one. I had instructors relaxing yoga. Article A is in job. Uh, uh, instructors Joe Yoda Joe is relaxing Joe 
no, no, instruction, instructor's job. Uh, mm -hmm. An instructor's job is, is, relaxing. is relaxing. Okay. Let's start. Let's start with the article. We're going to start with the article. Then we're going to use the word yoga. yoga. Uh, and the instructor yoga is a relax, relaxing. A instructor yoga is relaxing yoga. A instructor yoga relaxes is relaxing job. You are near, you are near to the correct answer. So it's a yoga instructor. A yoga instructor. Una question, allí la contracción no es para para el job, sino que para yoga. Yes, with contraction. Esa es la confusión. It's a yoga instructor is a relaxing job. Okay, let's go to the next one. A stimulating job has a gardener in article A. A gardener job. A gardener has a stimulating job. Excellent. That is the correct answer. A gardener has. A stimulating job. Okay, let's see. Uh, the first one was a dentist has a rewarding job. A nurse job is admirable. An actor has a fascinating job. A yoga instructor job is relaxing. A yoga instructor job is relaxing. And the last one, a gardener has a stimulating job. Excellent job. Thanks a lot. You did a good try. Excellent. Thank you very much. So let's see. Say sentence using adjective. Use the verb be or the verb have. Eh, después de su participación, pueden por favor apagar su micrófono. Se escucha una interferencia bastante fuerte. Can you please? Thank you. Thanks a lot. So, say sentences using adjective. Use the verb be or verb have. So, what profession is it? ¿Qué profesión es esta? It's a fireman. He's, fighter. he's a firefighter or a fireman. Fire. ¿Cómo es este trabajo? ¿Qué adjetivos podemos utilizar para describir este trabajo? It's dangerous. 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 Entonces, ¿cómo digo que un, el trabajo de un bombero es peligroso? Hay. 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 Okay, a firefighter has a dangerous job. Muy bien. ¿Qué otro adjetivo podemos has... utilizar? Again, please, después de su participación, apague el micrófono. Hasta la siguiente. Por que se oye ruido. Let me see. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Now we can hear better. So look at this, for example. You see, dangerous. A firefighter job is dangerous. Yo le escribí con el verbo to be, right? Verb be plus an adjective. A firefighter job is dangerous. Any other adjective? Algún otro adjetivo? A firefighter job is challenging. It's challenging, okay. Y en el chat escribieron difficult. Thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, let's see. I have here another example. A firefighter job is challenging. 
a firefighter's job is admirable. I have this other example. Who wants to read the next example? A fight fighter job is rewarding. And utilizando el verbo have, adjective plus noun, a firefighter has a difficult job. And also a firefighter has a stressful job. Let's see the, this other profession. What's the job? ¿Cuál es este trabajo? A judge. It could be judge, judge or lawyer. Judge. I write in this part, lawyer. So in essence, a lawyer's job is Interesting. 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 A lawyer's job is interesting. A lawyer's job is difficult. A lawyer's job is fascinating. A lawyer has a stressful job. A lawyer has a challenging job. And what is this job? It's a nurse. No. She, she is a nurse. She's a nurse, so a nurse has a demanding job. A nurse has a dangerous job. A nurse has a rewarding job. A nurse's job is admirable. A nurse's job is difficult. A nurse's job is exhausting too. So you can use this. Adjective plus noun and verb plus adjective. Cualquiera de las dos formas son correctas. So let's see, I need a volunteer, please, to read these sentences about the five fighter. Who wants to read them? A volunteer, please. Just one volunteer to read the sentences. Who wants to participate tonight? Repeat, only. Who wants to participate? Okay, Rene, thank you. Can you please read the sentences? A firefighter's job is dangerous. A firefighter's job is admirable. A firefighter's job is rewarding. A firefighter has a difficult job. A firefighter has a stressful job. Thanks a lot. Excellent. Excellent pronunciation. You did a great job. Thanks a lot. Let's see another volunteer to read the lawyer sentences. Sorry. Here are me. Uh, thank you. Can you please say me and your name, please? Me, Mario. Thank you, Mario. A lawyer job is interesting. A lawyer's job is difficult. A lawyer's job is fascinating. A lawyer has a stressful job. A lawyer has a challenging job. Excellent, excellent job. Thanks a lot. Let's see the next one. A volunteer, please, to read the nurse. Objective. I can do it. Nelson. Okay, Nelson. A nurse has a demanding job. A nurse has a dangerous job. A nurse has a reward, uh, reward job. A nurse job is admirable. A nurse job is difficult. A nurse job is exhausting. Thank you very much. You did a great job. Thank you, Nelson. So demanding, dangerous, rewarding. 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 Job. rewarding. Thank Ad you. Admirable. Admirable. Difficult. 
difficult and exhausting. Difficult, okay. exhausting. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent job. Thank you. Angela Rosario Sanchez, do you have any question? Yes, teachers. Good night. Hello. What's your question? Um, la pronunciación de la de la S donde dice nurses, nurse eh, eh, la pronunciación no la escucho ahí de la S eh, ¿por qué? We have to pronounce the S a nurse's job a nurse's job a nurse's job is difficult a nurse's job is exhausting yes we need to pronounce this a nurse's job is admirable. A nurse's job is difficult. A nurse's job is exhausting. We need to pronounce the S. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for your question. That was an interesting question. Teacher. Uh, yes. I have a question. Tell me, what is your question? Ajá, a, la pregunta es, es similar a la de la compañera. Eh, ¿Por qué arriba en las primeras tres utilizamos has y después utilizamos solo el, el apóstrofe y s? Ah, muy bien. Es que son dos estructuras las que podemos utilizar para Ajá. describir un trabajo, para describir Ajá. una profesión o un trabajo. Una estructura es utilizando el verbo to be más un adjetivo. Y utilizamos Ajá. esta estructura. A nurse's job is admirable. El trabajo de una enfermera es admirable. Es, y Según tenemos, el anterior. tenemos una segunda opción para decir lo mismo. ¿verdad? Solo que utilizando esta estructura. Adjetivo más el nombre job. Entonces decimos a nurse has. En lugar de decir que el trabajo de una enfermera, también podemos decir una enfermera tiene un trabajo admirable. Uh -huh. Entonces son dos estructuras diferentes que podemos utilizar para decir lo mismo, para describir un trabajo. ¿Cómo es un trabajo? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Entonces, thank you. Okay. Thank you for your question. Entonces puede utilizar esta estructura o la o esta ¿verdad? para describir un trabajo y no hay ningún problema. Now let's see with job profiles. Perfiles de trabajo en listen this example. Lisa Parker has to job. She worked as a waitress at night, but she's really, but she's really an actress during the day. She auditioned for a place in television shops. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dreams. So look at this work. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She worked as a waitress at night but she's really an actress during the day. She auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dreams. New vocabulary in this reading? What is tired? Tired. And tired is an adjective that means cansado. She's tired a lot. Ella está muy cansada. This one? Uh, oh, schedule. Schedule. Horario. Here, schedule is difficult. Thank you. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot. Waitress. Waitress. Camarera. Camarera o mesera. Waitress. Any other? 
So look, uh, she is describing, right? Her job profile has two jobs. Lisa Parker has two jobs. Ella tiene dos trabajos. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. ¿Cuáles son sus dos trabajos? What are the two words? Camarera, Camarera y actress. Waitress. Waitress and actress. Camarera and actress. Okay. During the day, she auditioned for plays and television shows. ¿Alguna vez han ido a alguna audición para salir en algún comercial de televisión, para algún papel de una obra? Never. 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 No. Never. Never. Ok. Ella sí, once, ¿verdad? Once upon. Once upon a time. Una vez. Once upon a time. In the series. Ok. <laughs> ok. Yes, me. Me. You did. You really? did. Yes. Once, oh, one, you really did. One time. Once. Yes. Once. You did Ooh. once. Since uh, um, five, five years. Oh, okay, five years ago. Uh-huh, five years ago, okay. So you did this once, usted lo hizo una vez, five years ago. Hace five, uh -huh, five years ago. Hace cinco años. Okay. Uh -huh. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot. ¿Quién tiene un horario difícil? Who has a difficult schedule? Lisa Parker. Yeah, Lisa Parker, okay. But you, you that are here in this class, ¿tienen un horario difícil? Yes. No. No? You work from eight to four? Or you have to work more than... Who works more than 10 hours? ¿Quién trabaja más de 10 horas? Sometimes. Oh, sometimes. So that is a difficult schedule. But she's follow, following her dreams. Ella está siguiendo sus sueños. 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 Look at the next. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. So look at this. ¿Les gustaría trabajar en esto? Game yes. tester. Video game yes. tester. Yes, look at this. He plays video games for eight hours a day. It's like a dream, right? For the people who likes video games. Es como un sueño para aquellos que les gusta jugar videojuegos. I don't look in. <laughs> <laughs> you are not looking for a kind of job like this one. So lots of teenagers, who are teenagers? Adolescente. Adolescentes. Ah, todos los de la clase, entonces. Hasta el teacher, right? Estamos en esta edad. <laughs> teenagers. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. Quieren este trabajo. He plays video games for eight hours a day. And he gets paid for it. Ok. Pasa jugando ocho horas al día. And it is his work. Este es su trabajo. He gets paid for it. Le pagan por eso. John is a video game tester for a big video company. Is it ever boring? ¿Alguna vez se aburre? Never. John almost always win. Casi siempre gana. Gana. Let's see another job profile. Este era el perfil de un video game tester. Becky Pig walks in the park every day for many hours. Rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. ¿Habían escuchado de este trabajo? Professional dog walker. Yeah. Yes. In okay. the other country. Oh, in, in, in another country. 
she wants dogs see, for other I peoples. See, I see this this profession only in movies. <laughs> okay, just in movies. Just in movies, we say this profession. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. So she is a professional. She really is a professional. Look at this, taking care of 20 dogs. That must be hard. Tiene que ser difícil. So her name is Becky Peak. Walks in the park every day for many hours. Rain or shine. Como decimos nosotros, llueve o truene, tiene que ir a trabajar. Sí, llueve, que esté lloviendo, esté soleado. Becky is a professional dog. Yes? Sure. Yes? Uh, yes. Change, change eh, eh, si, eh, es como otro que cayendo rayos, pero solo cuando se ocupa la palabra rain. Oh, no, in this case, shine, eh, shine es soleado, el, el sol está brillante, shine, that is shine. Ah, you, ah o quiere decir que llueve o haya sol, digamos. Yes, okay. esté lloviendo o esté haciendo sol, Becky tiene que ir a trabajar. Eh, cuando está tronando, that is thunder, thunder, oh. y cuando está relampagueando es lightning. Ah, ok. Thank you. Okay. Becky is a professional dog walker. And then she walks dog for other people. Something she takes to need out to the party at one time. So who wants to have this job? ¿Les gustaría tener este trabajo? Professional dog walker. No, I don't. No. <laughs> no. no. You don't like animals. I like. I like. I like back. 20 dogs are too much. 20 dogs are too much for you. 20 perros son demasiado. Say with me, 20 dogs are too much for me. That's the sentence. 20 perros son demasiados para mí. Levantar todas las S de ellos. <laughs> that must be the most difficult part. Debe ser la parte más difícil. Look at this. Vamos a I ver. Have, I have uh, a friend. I have a friend. Has, has eight cats. Eight cats. Yes. In her house. Okay. Her like her like the cat. Oh, she likes cat a lot. She like she like cat a, a lot. lot. She likes okay. cat a lot. She a likes. Le gustan mucho los gatos. Cat a lot. Yes. Demasiado. Okay. <laughs> Demasiados a gatos. No, a lot. A lot. Of a lot. Of, a lot of she like cat. Oh. Okay, let's see this. Let's read this. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades, homework, helps with after school activities, and of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. What is this profession? Teacher. Teacher. He is a teacher. So, Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. Es un hombre ocupado. He plans lessons, great homework, helps with after school activities, and of course he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he is happy. Like you. Uh, oh yes, I have to plan lessons, great homework, and this story held with after school activities. And of and course, we changed, we changed the name ever. He's a busy man. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of Carlos Ruiz. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. 
Then let's see. I volunteer to read the first job profile of, from Lisa Parker. Any volunteer to practice at this time? Me, Nelson. Okay, Nelson, you can start. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a white at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditioned for plays and television show. Here's a schedule. Skate skate. Schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dreams. Excellent, excellent. Yes, in this word, difficult. Difficult. Yes, thanks a lot, Nelson. Very good job. Thank you. Any other volunteer to read this? John's Blues job. Me, Mario. Thank you, Mario. Love of teenager wants John's Blue jobs. He plays video games for eight hours a day and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video company. It is ever boring. Never. John almost always wins. Thanks a lot. That was an excellent pronunciation. Thank you. Yes, in this word. Teenager. It's a teenager. Teenagers. Teenagers. Teenager. teenager. Thank you. Teenagers. Okay. Thanks to you. Thanks a lot. Let's continue. I volunteer to read Becky Pick, a professional dog walker who wants to read this. Teacher. Yes. Uh, En la, en la pantalla anterior no alcancé a escuchar bien la, la primera, la de ti, no, o sea, no, es, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Tal vez me lo podía repetir. This part, esta parte. Sí, correcto, correcto. Lots, lots, lots. of teenagers want John Blue's teenager, job. Teenager, así es, teenager. Teenagers. Así se pronuncia. Yes, teenagers. 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 No, teen teenagers. Oh. Listen, listen again. Teenagers. 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 Ah, yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's continue. A volunteer, please. Becky picks wall in the park every day for many hours, gray or shine. Becky is a professional dog worker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Okay, thanks a lot. Let's continue. The last volunteer to practice this job profile, Carlos Ruiz. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plays lesson. Race homework help with after school activities and of course he teach. His salary his salary highs isn't great, but that's okay. His student like his class, so he's happy. Okay, excellent job. Thank you. Just this word. How do you pronounce this word? BC. Carlos Ruiz is a businessman. Uh, this other one, his salary isn't. His salary isn't. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. He's a student like his class. So he's happy. Okay. Okay, Thank let's you. see. Who might say the following sentence? De los perfiles profesionales que vimos anteriormente. Um, Professional dot walker, a teacher, and also we see a uh, actress and waitress. So I don't earn enough money. Who might say the following sentence? 
¿Quién podría decir de ellos la siguiente oración? I don't hear enough money. Yo no gano suficiente dinero. Sure. Probably teacher. the teacher. I work a lot during the day. Yo no, tra yo no camino mucho en el día. No, I no, work. No, no, I work. Lo contrario, yo camino. Camino demasiado durante el día. Yeah. The one dog, the police is a worker. Oh, the professional dog walker and also the police man, a police officer. A police officer, yes. How But do in... you say, how do you say cartero o los que entran en comienda, mensajero? Mailman. Mailman. Excuse me? Mailman. Mail. Mail. Correo, mail. Mail, mailman. Okay. Let's see. Sentences for this, for his. Oh, a mailman may say this to me. I work a lot during the day. I enjoy playing video games. I'm teenager. Teenagers, I enjoy playing video games. Teenagers can say this word or may say this sentence. I really need some vacation. Everybody, I really Everybody. need some vacation. De verdad, the necesito movie. algunas vacaciones. So let's see. Uh, de la lectura, ¿verdad? Who may say this following sentence? I don't hear enough money. Ricardo Ruiz, the teacher. I work a lot during the day. Becky Pick. What does she do? What does she do? Becky Pick. The worker dog. The worker dog. Oh, she is a professional work dog. Dog worker, sorry. She is a professional dog worker. And the next one, I enjoy playing video games. John Blue. He is a professional video game tester. I really need some vacation. Probably Lisa Parker. Lisa Parker. So, do you have any question about tonight's class? This is the moment. Do you have any question? No. No question? No. Okay. All clear. Everything is clear. Okay. Thank you. Everything is clear. I like that. So you are going to find some of these examples on your midterm, right? Please don't forget to finish section one, section two, section three. And also you have to take the midterm in this week. En esta semana usted tiene que hacer eso. ¿no? Sección 1, sección 2, sección 3 y el examen de medio curso. So tell me, which job profiles we studied tonight? ¿Cuáles fueron los perfiles de trabajo que vimos esta noche? Let me... Video tester. Ok, eh, video, eh. Video, video game tester, yes. Professional work. Doc. Ok, a professional doc. Walker. Walker. Waitress. Oh, waitress. Waitress and actress. Waitress and actress, and also. Teacher. And the last one was a teacher. Yes. Okay. Can you please tell me some sentences to describe teacher job? Teacher's job. ¿Cómo es el trabajo de un profesor? Es difícil. 
Oh, difficult. It's we can stressful. use difficult. It's stressful. stressful. Challenging. Very challenging. Very busy. Very busy. Interesting. Interesting. How much money? Admiral. Admirable. Okay, now in a sentence. Ya tenemos los adjetivos. You say difficult. You say admirable. You say challenging. Now we are going to say sentences. Challenging and also you say busy. Busy, difficult, admirable, challenging, busy. Well paid. <laughs> Well paid. In some cases, yes, well paid. Bien pagados, well paid. Difficult, admirable, challenging, busy, and well paid. Now, in a sentence, es como digo, el trabajo de un maestro es difícil. Teacher job is difficult. Hey, excellent. A teacher's job is difficult. Excellent. Excellent sentence. A teacher's job is difficult. With admirable, ¿cómo sería? Teacher's job. A teacher's job is admirable. Okay. Excellent sentence. A teacher's job is admirable. Teacher job is admirable. Ahora, utilizando la otra estructura con challenging. A teacher has a teacher, a teacher has challenging job. A challenging job. Ok, excelente. A teacher has a challenging job. That is the correct structure. Now with busy. A teacher has a busy job. Perfect. A teacher has a busy job. Now with well paid. Teacher has a well paid. Teacher has, a, teacher, a teacher has a well paid job. Okay, excellent, excellent sentence. A teacher has a well, a well paid job. Okay. A teacher has too much money. A teacher has, nah, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> teacher doesn't have too much money. Engineer have, doctor have, lawyer have. <laughs> <laughs> Then let's see. Okay, let's see with the next rotation. Um, let's see. Let's go with doctor. Doctor job. ¿Cómo es el trabajo de un doctor? Admirable. Oh, we can use admirable. Dangerous. En estos tiempos, dangerous. Tired. Tired too. Tired. Difficult. Exercise. Stressful. Stressful. Yeah. Stressful. 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 Admirable, dangerous, tired, difficult, stressful. Well paid. Well paid to. Well paid. Oh, you can say rewarding. 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 Okay, now in a sentence. Cualquiera de las dos estructuras que aprendimos. A doctor. The doctor has admirable job. A, yo, a doctor has an admirable, admirable job. Excellent. Yeah. A doctor has an admirable job. A, También, doctor's, a doctor's job 
is and then you mm -hmm. doctor's job is job is admirable or dangerous. dangerous it's dangerous muy bien esta misma oración podemos tenerla en la otra estructura ¿verdad? sería a doctor's doctor's job is is admirable it's admirable Ok, y ambas oraciones son correctas. A doctor que hace un admirable job o a doctor job is admirable. A doctor job is dangerous. O we can say, ¿cuál sería la otra forma? A doctor has, has a, a dangerous, dangerous job. Ok, excelente. ¿Ya no hay dudas con esto? ¿O do you have, do you still have a question? Ok. Everything is ok. It's ok. It's ok. It's ok. Ok, now tell me. A singer. What are some adjectives to describe a singer job? Well paid. Um, well paid, a singer, well paid. ¿Les pagan bien? Yes, yes, right. They earn a lot of money. Yes, right. It's tired. Tired? And now say that in a sentence. In a sentence. Admirable. Admirable too? Admirable too. Ok. El trabajo de un artista es admirable. Uh, son of them. Algunos de ellos, yes. Other not. <risa> <risa> Pero digamos eso en una oración. El trabajo de un cantante es admirable. A single job is admirable. A single job is admirable. Ok, excelente. ¿Cuál sería la otra forma? A singer has a singer a has job. Admirable job. Ah, ok. I can see that you don't have more problems with that sentence. So, it's time to end the class. I want to say thank you for your attention, for your participation. It has been a pleasure to be with you tonight. Thank you, everyone. So, if you have any question, please, uh, escribe en el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? please write on the WhatsApp group and we're going to help you. Y no se quede sin resolver ningún ejercicio. ¿verdad? Si tiene algún problema, no olvide que puede escribir en el grupo de WhatsApp para tener asistencia. ¿verdad? If the teacher can't, si el maestro no puede, ahí están agregados también los chicos de soporte técnico que también le pueden ayudar, ¿verdad? Y los compañeros también. Los compañeros también puede, podemos ayudarnos entre nosotros. ¿De acuerdo? So, any okay. other question? Gracias. No more question then. Bueno, Gracias. don't forget. Section 1, Section 2, Section 3, and the midterm. Please, work on that. Work on that, please. Trabajemos en eso. Si no, el fin de semana no vamos a poder ir a la cancha, no vamos a poder ir al parque porque tienen que resolver la plataforma. So do it. I know, I know that is difficult because you work during the day, but try it. Sé que es difícil durante el día, pero intentémoslo, right? Después del almuerzo, ¿no? En, guardemos un ratito el Facebook y completemos la plataforma. No. <laughs> okay. Bye bye then. Okay, have a good night. Bye. Have a good night. Thank See you, you tomorrow. Bye. See you Thank tomorrow. You bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Buenas noches. Hello, Beatriz. Do you have a question? No. <laughs> Buenas noches.
Ah, okay. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye, Maria. Bye bye. Praise the Lord. Have a good night. See you tomorrow.